Hey guys, how's it going? If you have an online team that's distributed amongst different locations, different time zones, chances are keeping everything straight is really challenging. In today's video, I want to cover a quick tool, give you a brief overview of this tool called Start Infinity. That is the one tool to organize all your work in your way is the promise they're making on the homepage. Let's go and put that to the test. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. My job is to help you find the perfect tool for your next project online. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below on what you think the coolest takeaway is from this tool start infinity and let's go ahead and dive into the content here now before i dive into the tool here normally i talk about wordpress or digital marketing tools why am i talking about productivity well kind of fun story a little backstory here about good old john whitford here is the first online course i ever created and sold outside of my corporate you know, career was actually a tool about Airtable for entrepreneurs. Uh, at the time, I was just a little young gun in my corporate career, and I I love finding productivity tools all the time. So I made something real fast, and you can see it's actually a bestseller on Udemy. Yeah, go check it out. Actually, don't. It's probably quite antiquated, and I probably should update it. But anyways, Airtable for entrepreneurs is kind of the one of the gold standards when it comes to multi-purpose online database tools, and it's a direct competitor to this Infinity platform we're gonna talk about here, okay? So uh, that's kind of the background of why I like tools like this, but what can you do with this? Kind of, let's walk through this here. You can create a ton of different use cases depending on what you need. So this is not a specific social media management tool. This is not a specific content management tool. This is not a specific CRM. It's kind of a, give you some tools and you make with it what you want. You can do you know, classic tables to keep track of your contacts or your business relationships. You can do columns for Kanban boards or Kanban boards uh, to keep track of your workflow. You can do to-do lists. You can do calendar views to keep track of what you need. You can do a Gantt chart for project management. You can do forms to even collect leads and whatnot, I suppose. So the point being is you can do a ton with this tool. The question is, is it any particularly good at any application? Can it compare to the juggernauts that are out there like Airtable? And is the pricing worthwhile to take a look at right now? We're going to dive into some of these questions. And I'll be honest, I haven't used this a ton yet. I've kicked around the tires to realize it's a really good tool at what it does. But because the online world is so tricky, chances are you might want to find a specific application for something versus using a kind of a all purpose tool. But we're gonna dive into that and really test that idea. Before we dive into the tool itself, you know, you guys are gonna be asking, hey, what's the deal with this tool? There is currently an exclusive lifetime deal, there should be a link down below uh, for ch uh, checking that out. And so for the lowest tier, if you wanted to get out of paying monthly for your team organization tools, they do have a lifetime deal right now for 150 bucks for life. That gives you 10 users. So it's not just like a personal account. You could run your team off of this and it's a lifetime access to the platform. Just to give you some ideas, some context to that, they do, of course, make it easy for us <laughs> to researchers. They compare it to uh, different platforms. So 150 bucks for infinity for life versus Again, I'm familiar with Airtable, so for 10 people there, it's $2,400 per year because uh, each member needs to pay for it. So it's a significant cost savings. The question is, can it compete? Let's go ahead and dive into it here. So I'm here on the platform, on the dashboard, and you can see I've got a bunch of different you know, example stuff over here. Let me go to the original dashboard. And if you've used platforms like Airtable, this will instantly look familiar. They des definitely took shots at that tool, and uh, they've done a good job. All right, so I'm here on the platform and you can have all your different boards here. You can be able to reorganize them and make them what you want them to be. And within an individual tool, let's go for the sales CRM. So let's say you have a team, you don't wanna pay a ton of money for HubSpot or Active Campaign and all this, and you wanna be able to have a lot of flexibility in how you look at it. Uh, let's keep all our data. You can pull in a sales CRM and you can group them by status, so you can you know customize everything and create these different statuses, qualified, outreach, negotiation, you get the idea. And everything's kind of drag and drop. I can take some things here, move it up into a different status, so you can literally create whatever you want in this. If I wanna add additional content into this section, let's say uh, discuss market shares, I've got status, priority, estimated value. Let's um, just ha ha add a section here for notes. I'll create a notes attribute and this is gonna be a long text box and notes here. All right, so if I want to update this guy's record, I can just click on something here. Let me make sure you can see this. So here, the notes section, uh, had a nice call 
with this person, whatever. I don't do sales CRM work that often. All right, so it gives you a lot of flexibility here. Um, you can sort things, customize them. You can even change the view if you wanna get out of this grouped situation. Let me click off of that and do no sorting. And here you can see all the people in your list. Again, you can organize it however you'd like to. Everything's click and drag, it's kinda nice. If I want to bounce to a different view of it, I might wanna go and check in on the priorities of it. So I'll click over here and now, Similarly, when by status, like this was grouped by status, it kind of shows you like this, but you can also see I've got this priority uh, field here and you can create a whole separate view if you wanna organize things by priority. Again, drag and drop. And when you drag it, it actually changes the value, right? Cause this is just records in a database. So if I drag it over from low to medium, now that field has actually changed its priority to medium. So it's quite functional, very easy to use, kind of a, a fun thing indeed. So you can create a bunch of different views. You can organize maybe let's say a Gantt chart uh, with let's say last contacted and next out. This is not how Gantt charts are supposed to look, but you'd be able to go and create different uh, field of views for whatever is appropriate to you. Let's go check out something that might be a bit more in your guys' field. Let's do like a social media calendar and bounce over here and I can see by day, by channel or by calendar. This is all dummy data by the way, but inside of this, uh, you can get an idea of what you could do. You could you know, give the post a name, give it the image, plan out when you'd wanna post it. You can even work as a team and have an activity log to see what was changed when and who commented when. And also, of course, you can switch it out. So right now, this is on a calendar view. So you can see group by day. And let's say you're having your team meeting and you're trying to get your social media strategy together. You might say, hey, all right, this Starbucks post, this is totally a post for the middle of the week, you know, hump day, need your caffeine. So drag it over to Wednesday. And again, this doesn't actually do anything to Facebook or do anything to Twitter. Um, this is kind of one of my, the things I think about a lot with this tool is I love it. And I think it was back in like 2014, I made my Airtable course. At that time, that's exactly what you want. But nowadays with all the APIs where if you wanted to do social media management, is the right idea to do it in a tool like this? Or is it to do it directly in something that integrates in with Facebook and when you actually click the, the date and time to schedule it, it actually schedules it? I don't know, we'll see towards the end of this video. We have a lot of uh, functionality here though. You can sort it by channel, by Twitter, by Instagram, see an actual calendar view of what you wanna post when. So super cool there. All right, let's check out maybe one more thing here. Let's So these are the templates I kind of showed you. And then they'll of course have help docs and everything to help you get up and running pretty quickly. So kind of, let's talk about the final reviews here. Pricing, pretty sweet. If you need something to be very flexible, if you wanna have an intake form for a doctor's office, but you don't wanna have all this crazy techie stuff, might be a good, might be a good option, right? Um, compared to other tools out there like the Trellos and the Asanas and Monday.com, like yeah, you're totally saving a, a good bit of coin with this one, but the the big question, like the thing that kind of always sticks out to me is that it, it always seems idealistic to have one tool to do everything and have one tool to organize all your different contacts and your projects, but it never really ends with one tool. You still need to go into your actual Facebook account and publish the post or go, if you're doing content marketing and kind of working with your team here, you still need to go into WordPress or something like that to publish the content. So it's a really cool planning, kind of a sandbox tool if it's for team collaboration. But I guess if I'm being fair, like that's the same thing with Trello, it's the same thing with anything else. Like this is a tool specifically designed to help you get stuff organized and accomplished as a team, but then to actually push the publish button or to like take it to its logical conclusion, you will need to go and into that tool to do the work, right? Like maybe my expectations are not entirely realistic, but I thought that was an important thing to keep in mind. And, and the reason for that is, let's say for example, the social media calendar, like, okay, this is pretty cool, but they have tools that are designed specifically for that. You know, if you wanted to go to, for example, I think missing letter is one here that, you know, if, if your deal is social media, do you wanna go into Airtable or into Infinity to do that? Or do you wanna go straight into something where you can create the calendar, organize it and launch it from there? Something for you to keep in mind. But if you are a tech junkie, a productivity junkie, like I like to be or like to consider myself, um, Infinity is a pretty awesome tool. Uh, if it were the same price, as some of the Trellos out there in the world, I'd probably tell you to go towards Trello, go towards Airtable, something that's a bit more established, because again, this space is super competitive. But 
with the deal they're launching right now, it's at least worth a look. That's my personal opinion. Uh, you know, the pros of it is super slick interface, um, <laughs> probably because they kind of grabbed a lot of design inspiration from the Trellos out there, from the air tables out there. If you need something more than just a spreadsheet, you know, this gives you the ability to, which we haven't really d dug into too much here, but I can go into something and actually create a link to a different record where if you wanted to have maybe uh, your customers in this table and then your contracts in this table, you might have one customer that has multiple contracts. You might have one contract that has multiple customers. And this can actually create that two way link, which is way more powerful than you can get out of something like a Google Sheets. So it's a nice user interface, nice functionality, really cool tool. Um, you know, just for the record, I was not paid to make this video. I'm not even sure if I'm an affiliate. If that link is down there, I probably have signed up as an affiliate. Uh, I think it's a great tool something that's worth taking a look at. But the one thing I want you to remember is if you have a system that's working for you, don't just jump ship to go find the next shiny object. I enjoyed you know, exploring this and taking a look at it. It's probably not going to replace my current productivity system, the tools I use, because I found a groove that works for me. I'd highly recommend you, if you're struggling to find a system that works for you, you know, go read Getting Things Done by David Allen. Go, go look at some of the systems out there and just make one of your own and stick with it. If you need something to help you with that, Infinity's worth taking a look at. There's a link down below. Again, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. Hope you enjoyed this kind of as non-biased review as possible. Be sure to subscribe to the video. Leave a comment down below of what productivity system you're currently using. Are you a Kanban guy? Are you a GTD thing guy? Are you kind of just note paper? Because I've kind of got this too going on. Like this is most days my productivity system or the notes app in my phone. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Take care.